Hello, a warm welcome from my side. My name is Monika Elling Schulz and I'm from the Wettmann University of Vienna. I'm the current president of the Austrian Society for Hygiene, Microbiology and Preventive Medicine. It is a pleasure for me to give you, together with my colleagues Birgit Willinger from the Med Uni Vienna, uh, who is past president of our society, and Heidron Kerschner from the Ordensklinikum Linz Elisabethinen, who is our general secretary, some information on our society. So our society was founded in 1925, and from the very beginning on, our society followed a collaborative, multisectoral, and transdisciplinary approach. Our founding members already included representatives from human medicine, veterinary medicine, as well as agriculture and natural resources. And still, our current board includes specialists from human health, animal health, as well as ecosystem health. As such, we are representing the different dimensions of one health. Our society is the national partner for specialists in different disciplines, human medicine, veterinary medicine, food hygiene, water hygiene, as well as environmental hygiene. And our activities include scientific and academic issues, as well as professional and political issues of hygiene, microbiology, and preventive medicine. So next, my colleague Birgit Willinger, who is past president of our society, will give you an overview on our activities. So, and a hello from my side. Uh, what are the activities of our society? So one of the important activities is uh, the knowledge transfer and also the cooperation uh, within a community of more than 600 Austrian specialists in, in the field of uh, the society's activities. And what do we do? We uh, do scientific conferences, we have symposia, we also have postgraduate courses and also online education. And as you can see below, you see we have biannual conferences. We had our last conference uh, in the beautiful city of Bad Ischl. And uh, this year we will have our DOSH Symposium uh, in uh, Felden, which deals with hygiene and infection control issues. We also have uh, educational symposia and we have one usually in the autumn of every year dealing with uh, medical microbiology and hygiene. And we also have webinars and the next webinar will be on diphtheria. What else are we doing? We established, established the COVID-19 channel and this channel deals with online recommendation for infection control activities concerning the transmission of SARS-CoV-2. So this was helpful for all um, people who dealt with the infection uh, and had to uh, find the correct hygienic uh, handling. So what are further activities? We also issue recommendations for disinfectants uh, by the regularly updated list of expertise. This can be accessed online. Our society also supports young researchers and academics in the field of general microbiology, hygiene and hospital and industrial hygiene with awards to acknowledge past achievements and provide an incentive for future accomplishments. The society is also a member of international organizations such as ESCMID, FEMS, IFIC and also others. The society is also a, an associated scientific society of the Austrian Medical Association for Clinical Microbiology and Hygiene and is engaged in postgraduate specialist training and examination. We also have a young uh, society, and uh, this is now that I want to hand over to Heidrun Kershner, our General Secretary. Hello. Since 2022, there's been a young Ugehem PA section of our society, and there we aim to connect young researchers, academics, and physicians. We have our own mailing lists. Uh, we've organized three successful webinars so far. We also had meetings in person. 
And we are planning to offer observerships, especially for physicians in training to help cover all aspects of being a clinical microbiologist. And we also have our own Twitter account. Um, we hope you'll follow us. And this leads me to the other social media accounts of ÖGHMP. Please follow us on Twitter or on, on Mastodon. You can reach the websites easily uh, if you scan the respective QR codes. And of course, we also have our own website, which covers all of our activities in detail. We'd be happy if you stopped by sometime. So, hope to see you soon on our side.